And now we move on to our Eucharist. We are using Eucharistic Prayer A from our Book of Common Prayer. And Eucharistic Prayer A begins on page 361 in that book. We are following our bishop's directive. We are not, we are blessing the elements, but we are not partaking of them. We will reserve them until we can all join together in communion. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give God thanks and praise. It is right and a good and joyful thing always and everywhere to give thanks to you, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. You bid your faithful people cleanse their hearts and prepare with joy for the Paschal Feast, that fervent in prayer and in works of mercy and renewed by your word and sacraments, they may come to the fullness of grace which you have prepared for those who love you. Therefore, we praise you joining our voices with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven who forever sing this hymn to proclaim the glory of your name. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Holy and gracious God, in your infinite love, you made us for yourself. And when we had fallen into sin and become subject to evil and death, you, in your mercy, sent Jesus Christ your only and eternal Son, to share our human nature, to live and die as one of us, to reconcile us to you, the God and Father of all. He stretched out his arms upon the cross and offered himself in obedience to your will, a perfect sacrifice for the whole world. On the night he was handed over to suffering and death, our Lord Jesus Christ took bread. And when he had given thanks to you, he broke it and gave it to his disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup of wine, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for all, for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Therefore, we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ, Christ has died, died. Christ, Christ is risen, risen. Christ, Christ will come, come again. again. We celebrate the memorial of our redemption, O Father, in this sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving. Recalling his death, resurrection, and ascension, we offer you these gifts. Sanctify them by your Holy Spirit, to be for your people the body and blood of your Son, the holy food and drink of new and unending life in him. Sanctify us also, that we may faithfully receive this holy sacrament and serve you in unity, constancy, and peace. And at the last day, bring us with all your saints into the joy of your eternal kingdom. All this we ask through your Son, Jesus Christ, 
by him and with him and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit. All honor and glory is yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. Amen. And now we are going to say the Lord's Prayer. And we shall say, instead of lead us not into temptation, we shall say, save us from the time of trial. Jesus doesn't lead us into temptation. As our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. I will now break this bread as Christ's body was broken. And then, after our service, we will reserve it to that day when we can celebrate together. Christ, our Passover, is sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast. Oh, I miss saying hallelujah, don't you? These are the gifts of God for the people of God. You will take them in remembrance that Christ died for you and feed on him in your hearts by faith with thanksgiving. Amen. Amen. And after we say and receive the Eucharist, we always say, this prayer. Eternal God, Heavenly Father, you have graciously accepted us as living members of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. And you have fed us with spiritual food in the sacrament of his body and blood. Send us now into the world in peace and grant us strength and courage to love and serve you with gladness and singleness of heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the blessing. The blessing today is a Lenten blessing for Lent 5. Look with compassion upon this, O Lord, your people that rightly observing this holy season, they may learn to know you more fully and to serve you with a more perfect will through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. And the blessings of God, our Creator, and Christ, our Redeemer, and the Holy Spirit, our closest friend, be among you and remain with you this day and always. Amen. Amen. And Deacon Carl will dismiss us. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.